The Japanese yen has been down for weeks and there is a potential reversal coming that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So with that said, let's take a look at the Japanese yen, things like dollar yen, pound yen, and euro yen. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel guys. Before we jump into today's video, news is what's driving the Japanese yen and having a better touch on news is really important to your trading. If you can keep up to date with what's going on and what's driving the markets, it could make a big difference. And with that said, I think we should take a look at today's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Moomoo, which is a commission-free trading platform similar to TradingView, but in some ways a lot better. And we're gonna talk about it here right now. If you're a Forex trader, there's tons of resources here on Moomoo. For example, we could take a look at GBP USD here. We can pull up the quote on it, of course, just like we would on most be, uh, most platforms. But one thing that's cool is they've got news right here. You can go through some of the recent news right at your fingertips. Whether you trade indices, futures, Forex, or even stocks, you can place trades, you can look at the market, and do your analysis from anywhere, whether you're using the app or the desktop version of Moomoo. It's important to stay up to date with news and things like you know the Russia and Ukraine situation that can cause the market to tank on a dime it's nice to stay minute to minute updated so for example I'm looking at the Dow Jones industrial average and I could scroll down here and you can see all the different facts and stats on this thing you can see the stocks that make up the uh, the Dow Jones but then you can also go into the news function see what's going on with this additional features like comments are kind of cool because you can stay up to date so here's an example of what we just mentioned about the Russia Ukraine situation you can see that there was a post about Putin's war on the US economy. Stay up to date on things that are happening worldwide. If you'd like to sign up with Moomoo, you have the chance to collect five free stocks using the link down below in the description worth upwards of potentially $3,500. So check it out. Link is down below in the description. And thanks again to Moomoo for supporting the content. So we're back on the charts and we're talking about the Japanese yen. First thing I'll show you guys is if you look at JXY, this is the Japanese yen currency index. Look at how bad this thing is. It's in beat up shape. It is having such a tough day here. And um, I wanted to look at some things here with you guys. And, and you know, the question is, we've been getting a lot of people who have asked, you know, is the Japanese yen going to find a bottom anytime soon? And in today's video, I'm gonna give you why I think it's possible that we do find a bottom pretty soon. But I want to get give a, a word, a disclaimer of caution with that. Um, this thing is a runaway train, right? The yen is really, really poor compared to things like the dollar and the pound. And this is a runaway uptrend that, if you've been shorting, has been a really tough time to go against. Now, if you've been long on the dollar yen, you've had an excellent time. So let's talk a little bit about setups and let's talk about what we could look at here. Why would the dollar yen come back down? Well, the dollar is really strong, so I personally wouldn't bet on a short position. However, there is something that happens in markets occasionally where you get, if you look at the daily chart, for example, you get these massive runs in one direction for a very long time. And the volatility here is actually very high. I want to apply a simple indicator onto our, stream, our screen for here uh, for a second. Let's look at the average true range. So the average true range will tell you, generally speaking, how volatile a currency pair is. And if we look at the average true range, you can see that for a while here, the yen against the dollar was moving around 68, 69, 70 pips a day. Then we entered into this phase recently where we're talking about 100 pips a day. And this is crazy, right? We're getting much more volatility from the, the yen pairs right now. Now, the reason I bring that up is that high volatility usually takes a while to subside. But if we were to erase some of these gains and start to pull back, the thing here is we're starting to get into musical chairs territory. When things go up like crazy like this for so many days, weeks, and even months, it starts to get to a point where it does seem to have an overbought status. And I would say that the dollar against the yen is sort of overbought. Now, it doesn't mean that I would look to short it. It just means that when an overbought market like this starts to erase those gains, we could very quickly see a massive drop back on the dollar yen. In fact, that's kind of what I'm expecting to, to look at or look for in the market. I actually am still bullish on this thing, but I need to see a big pullback. And to me, a big pullback at the very least is a move that if we start drawing the fibs from the higher time frames, you're not really seeing a, a significant pullback until you start getting into ranges like the 38.2% retracement, which would put us all the way back around 122 on the dollar yen, which is a significant drop considering we're just shy of 127 at the time of filming. So if I'm looking at this thing, for me, the dollar yen is a no-go zone when we were up in this area. So if you're looking at a higher time frame, I would be very cautious that if we start seeing red candles come in here, 
I would actually think that we could see a short-term move to the downside. In fact, if you were a very aggressive intraday trader, you know, maybe looking for failures is not the worst option. For me, that's not the style of trading that I tend to do. But if you were to see, you know, breakout failures and continuation patterns to the downside, I think it gives you a lot of room to run considering that 38.2% retracement is literally at the time of filming this, 460 pips away. So I think that there's probably a bigger retracement coming for the dollar yen and not just the dollar yen. If we look at pound yen, for example, there's another one here, pound yen, same story, looking at the daily chart, you can see just nothing but up, up, up and away. And if we draw fibs on this one, you know, if you draw from the daily chart, which a lot of traders don't even look at the daily chart, uh, you know, I, I think that you're really not talking about a significant pullback until you get to the 38.2 here on this one, which puts us all the way at 159.92, which in that case, that's a pullback of, you know, a solid 550 pips. So the thing is, my cautionary tale for something like this is that this doesn't last forever. And it's not that I would short it personally, but if you're looking at things like, for example, Euro, Yen, pound yen, dollar yen, when we get these extensive moves in one direction, look what happened here. Massive slide to the downside, erased dramatically, and went back in the other direction. So it's not that I would try and bet on a bottom here, try and call a bottom. But what I would say is that when we do start to see this thing start to fade, it, when it does start to come down a bit, the come down could be very strong. And so for me, as a bull on these pairs, Euro, Yen, Pound, Yen, Dollar, Yen, when we look at things like the Edge Finder, which is calling these things strong buys, uh, I would agree, but it doesn't mean I would just buy just because they're listed as strong buys. Um, by the way, if you're not familiar with our software, today is the last day to get the early access sale that we're doing. Uh, the price will be going up uh, by the end of today. So if you're not already uh, in the software, if you'd like to check it out, please do so before the end of the day, otherwise the price will have gone up. So if we look at things like, for example, pound yen, the thing is, this thing is in a runaway trend to the upside and the yen is incredibly weak. You can see that interest rate divergence is positive, meaning the UK has a higher interest rate than the, uh, the Japanese interest rate, which is much lower. You've got things like retail sentiment, retail sentiment, traders are shorting this thing dramatically. So the thing is, it may not come down right away, but when it does come down, I expect it to be a pretty aggressive come down. Seasonality also this month is generally positive. So perhaps we're looking at something that could occur in April, sorry, May, uh, but in April, we are still actually seeing a bullish trend here for the, the uh, against the yen pairs. And then finally, a trend reading, we have a strong trend to the upside. So I'm not actually bearish on this. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty bullish on these pairs, but I think that the buy entries are very dangerous up here. I think that they're much more attractive on things like pound yen if we do get a steep drawdown or a pullback. And here's the thing, you might say, well, that seems so far away, but look at this move right here. From the top of this move down here, which was a 550 pip move, that occurred in one, two, three, four, about three, four days. That's a dramatic pull down. And so what I'm saying is that if this thing starts to find a top, be very cautious that you're not just, you know, buying up here and, and hoping that the trend will just continue because it can be very aggressive when it does reverse. So for me, again, the idea is these pairs, Aussie yen, pound yen, dollar yen, I like them to the long side, but I've got to see a pullback come into play before I can do so. So that's kind of where I'm at with these yen pairs. I will also talk about gold here for a second. I have a long position on gold. Um, you guys may have seen, I have a gold long position here on my broker here, which is Weeble. This is an American broker. Um, and it uh, is, is actually a stockbroker, but I have my position on gold here and uh, my stop loss is at break even. So I can't lose money on this trade, which is you know a good spot to be in. We did actually gap open. We trended higher over uh, the Sunday night uh, move there in London, which was awesome. So we're looking at more upside for gold. I am bullish on it. Uh, and, and you know, the. The idea here with gold, if you're watching this thing with me, I think that we probably will tap back at 2000, but the bigger move that I'm looking for is to see if we can break that and continue on up to the previous high. I have my stops locked, so ideally we'll see a little bit of a runner there and uh, trend follow that way on up to gold, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, I shared that trade inside of our private Discord. Every trade that I take goes right here, which there will be a link down below in the description if you'd like to check out that trade. But um, 
every trade that I take, I, I share inside of Discord. So you can see my gold position. I've got my stop loss locked at break even now. So I can't lose on that. It's a good spot to be in. And uh, just another day in the markets, just trading, following the trend and uh, managing risk. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new. And uh, a big thank you to our sponsor, which you can find the link down below in the description if you want to try out the Moomoo platform. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. What's up guys? Thanks for watching today's video. There are more videos available on our channel here and here. So go ahead and click into that for some more free trading content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time.